hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel you know what to do already let's not make this complicated just subscribe hit the bell button like this video before it ends in fact like it now so that you can help us to gain more visibility on youtube thank you so much for doing that for me thank you you are welcome as it stands now adore is currently just taking a title already of most frequent guest on my youtube channel but for some of you this may be the first time you are seeing her so i would like her to introduce herself hi everyone i'm always glad to be back here of course my name is nadoli Bachman, and i am an author and also a mental health advocate and i'm a therapeutic writer as well okay so adore would you like to tell us more about your blog yes so i i have a blog and it is a wordpress blog i have been writing or I've, I've been blogging about a lot of things related to mental health and love and mostly my writings are outbursts of emotions and yes you would love it there of course and it's, it's also very therapeutic there as well okay so i'll put the link to your blog in the description box and i also put it on the screen so make sure you check out her blog because her blog led to this right here so adole please put, you have written a book yeah i'm a new author congratulations on thank that. you i would like to congratulate you deserve your plans it's not easy to write a book home hmm. Me, I know what I'm going through, so mm -hmm. I know what I'm saying. It's not easy to write a book, so if someone writes a book, you have to give the person an award. In fact, a trophy. Mm. So I'm just going to read the blurb of the book so that you know what Adole has written. So it says, this book is for the weary, lonely, heavy-hearted, depressed, ashamed, hurt, insecure, suicidal, unstable, emotionally wrecked, betrayed, oppressed, emotionally hurt, hopeless, anxious, discomforted, worried, and sad. Adole has covered everybody. Every category. She has like gotten all of us in there. And this book, it's she says broken. Closure. I just like what you have written down here. Closure for the depressed, lost, and backsliding. So I want you to tell us more about the book. What really, really inspired you to write such a book? Because me, I'm excited that a Christian mental health advocate has finally, like this book, I feel like it's the first of its kind to write about something like this, especially a Ghanaian doing this. So what inspired you to do this? So in 2022, I, I I went through a very it, it was it was a very difficult year for me and I know usually it's, it's cliche to hear people saying that this year was really difficult but trust me 2022 was hell like hell really, really literally bad. and so on on my book you realize that it says closure for the request lost and back in 2020 i was literally depressed every lost and backsliding like i was all of this and um writing has a way of making me heal mostly when i'm really stressed out or, or i'm really struggling with something and i tend to to write about it or and i may not necessarily be, be writing about the experience but i may be writing crying out to the lord or i may be just venting out to god okay it always brings some form of healing to me and closure so, like yes, you said it brings some form of healing and closure so i am um, i finished i i wrote this book within a, a month wow actually. i i wrote it within a month it, it started from november so the whole of things it was a mess for me then in in november i i i perceived that i had to bring out a book related to depression because I was very depressed. Like I was really depressed to the extent that I, I was actually 
pray that God should come because I didn't want to kill myself. So I'm like, God, please. You got to that come. point of having yeah. suicidal thoughts. Well, I I was scared to have suicidal thoughts, but I had suicidal dreams. Okay. Yeah, okay, I had I had one severe suicidal dream and I knew that God, I needed you in my life. Okay. So when it happened like that, in in from from November to December was when I I completed the book, and um yes, I I was broken in a lot of ways, but at the end of the year after writing this, it brought some form of healing to me personally. You the writer. Yes. So then I, I I told God and I also knew that I had to, to write a book. Actually I've been having a lot of burdens about that. And a lot of people had also confirmed it to me. And so when I, I, I went through that particular phase and then I finally wrote it out. Then I gave it to one of my friends to type it for me. Then he he was like this book has to come out. It has to be this book here is titled Broken. Why broken? Um, I have been broken in a lot of different aspects of my life and I usually am very expressive with writing. So anytime I'm going through something or anytime there are a lot of things eating me up, I just vent it in, on a piece of paper or on my book. And so I noticed that it, it, it was it was a way of healing me and I, I saw the need for it to finally bring it out to the world to also be healed. Titles are very very important. When I was done with the book actually, I, I, had, I had a title, I had a different title to the book and um, I wasn't so sure about it. Okay. So I took it to prayer. Like I was praying. Pray no. <laughs> prayer went to pray. <laughs> no, it wasn't like I was saying me to But then I was asking her. You let spoke me, to God. Say, well, I was asking God about it. It wasn't just a day, like it was for a period of time. I was asking God about the title of the book. Mm. And um I I usually don't really have the same dreams like anytime i'm dreaming then it means that it's very serious so i i actually saw i saw i saw the title in a dream and it was okay. brokenness okay it was brokenness and i told god that his brokenness is too long i can't write but it's, it's such a long title so you reason so, with god yes i spoke with god about it again and then we he agreed i mean he accepted broken as a title and I added the closure for the depressed, lost, and battle because I wanted to be very specific who this book is for, the category of people that should um, purchase this book. So yes, and it actually goes with what the book is about. Mm -hmm. So that's how come it's broken. broken. I like it. It's it's perfect. Perfect title for a perfect book. And. How many pages is this book? It's roughly about 60 pages. Very yeah. Good. I'm asking you because there are some people <laughs> watching us right now saying in their head. Maybe I don't like reading. But Adole says this is not a reading book. Yes, it's actually it's not a reading book. It's a prayer book. Okay. Actually. But I, I am not praying for you. It's not a, a book that you are going to take and be reading. Even though I share some few experiences in it but basically it's a prayer booklet okay so you are going to pray with it so i have um personalized prayers it's not like i am not praying for you in the book you are actually using the prayer the, the book to talk to god okay. it's like you're having a conversation with god while you are reading okay. and there are a few declarations and affirmations um attached to the prayers as well okay that's wonderful i like the fact that it's more the the prayers can even be used as daily confessions yes, yes. and affirmations for instance grief under the category of grief lord jesus please help me to grieve the right way you mean i not cause more pain to myself while i grieve deliver me from this sorrow the spirit of sorrow while i grieve help me to trust in you again and again so here it's admitting there's a problem exactly acknowledging yeah. it asking god for, for help. sorry sorry about that guarding troubles <laughs> asking god for help 
yeah. and asking God, like being vulnerable with yourself, being vulnerable with yeah, God. So it's, it's more like you are, you are being open about yes. whatever you are dealing with with God and you are asking Him for help okay. and you are also affirming positive things over your life. Okay, that's very, very great. So, um, where can they find this book to buy? So, um, currently it's available in Tema, um, at Community Aid, Print or Multimedia. Okay. And it's also available at the first Insura Bookstore and Trading Limited in Tema Community One. It's okay. available at George Padmore Research Library okay. in Accra. But at, at the library, you can just go and have it and read it there, but you can't take it away. Okay. But if you want to buy it, then um, we are available at Community Aid. If you want bulk purchases, you can always do that for you. Okay, so I'll put all the details in the description box so that you can easily go and purchase it. So please make sure that you buy this book. Adolemi, I know her heart. She didn't write it for money. She wrote it to help everybody. So please make sure you grab a copy for yourself. You can buy it for someone as a gift for Christmas or you can even give it to yourself as a gift for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and please make sure that you purchase this book because it is very deep. Final words. So my, my final words will be that um, if, if you know anyone who is going to depression or if you know a Christian that has lost their faith or is angry with God, is asking questions, it could even be a Christian who is very stressed out and tired. Or well, even if you're not a Christian. Yeah, it, it, it could be both ways. And anyone that's depressed, or if you know any man of God, any man of God that is going through a very tough time, frustrated, tired of the ministry, needs some breath of air, they can always fall on this book to pray with and to talk to God, to open up about their vulnerabilities to God. And it will bring a lot of healing today. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you too. We we'll encourage everybody to go and buy. Mm -hmm. Buy for yourself, buy for your friends, buy for your family, buy for your co workers, buy for your boyfriend. Even your enemies can buy for them. <laughs> they are all parts, you can buy for them. Yes. And so thank you for blessing the world with this book. Because you could have decided not to write but you wrote and writing is not easy so if someone has written the least you can do is to buy and read and the biggest you can do is to pray for them and thank god that they actually did what god asked them to do mm -hmm. so thank you very much for watching it says mm -hmm. goodbye from us at the goddess bye 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 hey bye 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 bye. bye.